Got some M&A in the news today. Newmont Mining agreeing to acquire Gold Corp in an all-stock transaction valued at $10 billion. Deal comes after Barrick Gold closed its own merger with Rand Gold earlier this month, guys. About a 17% premium on this one. $100 million in annual pre-tax synergies, I'm told. Uh, potentially, that's going to be a modest uh, number. Uh, there is a hope, as they typically do, to, that right. they'll be exceeding that, Jim. Talking about a month, from what I understand, not more than that, but these companies know each other well. It's all about end game consolidation in an industry that has seen it, as Carl just pointed out, of course. You had that other large deal. This is the end of the game. You right. want to make sure you get the right partner and are large enough at this point uh, to survive and potentially thrive. I like the barrack, uh, the barrack Rangold deal much more. You do? Yeah, because Rangold was the growth and actually uh, dividend oriented producer, like the old days. You used to get big dividends from these gold companies. Uh, Rand Gold drills, uh, looks for gold. This is Mark Bristow. Uh, in places that are unstable, uh, has pretty good relationships with governments that you think couldn't do a deal. These guys are much more pedestrian. Gold Corp has been a tremendously horrible stock to uh, really poorly run. They've had so many different things. I don't think people realize the execution risk at a gold company is just incredible. But Newmont is not considered. Newmont Newmont's is considered consistent. A, a strong, right? Consistent. Engineering-wise, pretty good. Absolutely, which is why you have to hope. I mean, I'm surprised Newmont, well, it's a stock deal, so it's going to be down. It's but a stock deal. It's getting shorted potentially by those who exactly. are setting it up. But the, again, uh, you see why people spread. own gold, the physical, and why they own the GLD, because companies seem to have a very hard time keeping their costs down. And gold has had a very good move here. People don't seem to realize that it's fine. It's not moribund anymore. So these deals are occurring. David, I guess there could, how many mines do you really need? I, I don't know. These mines are not in tougher places. They're in easier. Right. They're in Canada, the U.S., right. South America, places that are friendly more stable, places. friendly, where they're not just going to close your mine down one day because they don't like you.